Hi, my name is Cameron Horning, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Miami Dolphins. I'm first going to talk about who they are, then I'm going to follow, with, follow up with uh, their accomplishments, then I'm going to talk about a couple notable players, and then I'll finish up with their current status. So first off, who are they? The Miami Dolphins are a professional football team that uh, participates in the National Football League. They are in the American Football Conference in the East Division and a couple other teams that are in the division with them include the New England Patriots, the New York Jets, and the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Miami Dolphins are actually the oldest Florida professional sports team. They were founded in 1966 by a politician known as jo Joe Roby and an actor known as Danny Thomas. Here's a picture of them. What are their accomplishments? Well, they have won a total of five AFC Championship titles. Uh, two of them were to the Pittsburgh Steelers, one to the Oakland Raiders, one to the Jets, and one to the Baltimore Colts. And since they won the AFC titles, their next step is to the Super Bowls, so they have appeared in five Super Bowls. In those five Super Bowls, they have won two of them. One was to the Washington Redskins, and the other one was to the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, since they won, they happened to win those two Super Bowls back-to-back, uh, -back, as you can see, in 72 and 73, and that made them the second NFL team in history to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Uh, they are also the first team to make it to the Super Bowl three years in a row. Prior to 72 and 73, they had also made it in 1971. Uh, in 72, they were the first team to ever go undefeated throughout the regular and postseason. The Miami Dolphins finished with a record of 17-0, and this was prior to when the regular season to date, which was 16 regular season games. Uh, a couple notable players and coaches that the Dolphins have. First one is Don Shula. Don Shula was the head coach for the Miami Dolphins from 1970 to 1995. In his 26 years with the Miami Dolphins, he only recorded two losing seasons. Um, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, obviously. The next one is Dan Marino. Dan Marino was a quarterback for the Dolphins and is modernly known as one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, he has broken various passing records, some of them he still has today, others have been broken by people like Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. Uh, in his 17 seasons, he took the Dolphins to 10 playoff appearances and one Super Bowl. The next one is Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor is a defensive player and he's one of the most recent Miami Dolphins to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, he, uh, he was a consistent um, Pro Bowler, and he also uh, was a 2006 Defensive Player of the Year. The next two I'm going to talk about were Larry Zonka and Mercury Morris. These two were a running back duo in 1972 for the Dolphins when they went undefeated. Uh, they broke a record that year with 200 or 2,960 yards total. Uh, no other duo has ever broken a record like this and their duo contributed to the Dolphins making it to the Super Bowl three years in a row. Uh, the last one I'm gonna talk about was the quarterback for the 1972 Dolphins. His name was Bob Greasy. He was also a Hall of Famer. Uh, he was known as a very versatile quarterback. He uh, also contributed to the Dolphins making it three Super Bowls uh, in a row. Next, I'm gonna talk about their current status, you know, how they are presently. Uh, as of right now, the Dolphins have a four and three record. They, four wins, three losses. This Sunday, they are playing the Oakland Raiders in their stadium, Miami Stadium. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I believe just last year, they renovated the stadium uh, created a new roof and added seats to the stadium, and they now call it the Hard Rock Stadium. 
2013, they identified a new logo for the team. Uh, this is it right here. They went from a more aggressive dolphin to a more modernized regular dolphin, and they also changed their color. It's more of like a, if you can see in the jersey, it's like a lighter cyan than what they would normally wear. It's like what the dolphin looks like right here. Uh, kind of like a darker cyan color. Uh, as of 2008, they got a new owner. His name is Stephen Ross, and he's pictured right here. Uh, he has contributed a lot to their uh, renovations and rebuilding process as an organization. And uh, since 2008, uh, the Dolphins reached the playoff last year, only to be knocked out in the first round of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, kind of an issue with the Dolphins as of recent. Since 1999, which was when Dan Marino retired, uh, they have gone through 17 starting quarterbacks. And since 1995, when Don Shula retired, they have gone through 10 coaches. Nine of them they've gone through, they're on their 10th right now, his name's Adam Gase. He's still a young coach, he's young in the occupation, and he hasn't proven himself yet, so he's still, you know, they're still waiting to see how he does. Uh, as a refresher, like I said, Miami Dolphins are the oldest Florida team. They were founded in 1966 by Roby and Thomas. Uh, they had multiple accomplishments within their history. They had an undefeated season. They won two Super Bowls, five AFC title championships. Uh, they have multiple notable players, but I only mentioned a couple. You know, they have Jason Taylor, Bob Greasy, uh, Dan Marino, Don Shula, Larry Zonka, Mercury Morris. These guys have proven a, not only a name for themselves, but also the organization. Uh, the current status, as we discussed, they're in a renovating stage, they're rebuilding themselves, trying to still find their quarterback and their coach. I think they still have hope. There are a lot of young talent, and uh, maybe in the future they can be as talented as their predecessors. That's it for my presentation. There's my reference. Thank you.